Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Connor and today I'm going to go over how you can literally make money by doing nothing. Okay. So this isn't like a scam. This isn't going to be like, Oh, this is like a magic formula. No, this is something that's been around, but a lot of people don't take advantage of it, especially young people like me. Um, a lot of people aren't aware of how to invest their money or put it into something that's going to make it grow. So that, that's what this video is going to be all about. All right. If you're interested, stick around. Um, if you're serious about this, make sure you watch the end of the video. It's only going to be about five minutes or so. And yeah, if you can't, then that's exactly where you are, where you are. All right. So I first off want to start off by saying that by no means am I a financial guru. By no means do I know the stock market like the back of my head. By no means do I know everything about investing and all the financial decisions that you might have to make in your life. But, um, but essentially, this is just what I do, okay? So this is what I make money with every single day. There's been very, very few days that I've lost money doing so. And so this is a safe method of using that money that you have in your bank account that you're not using, that you don't know what to do with, and just make it into an extra stream of income, okay? So the first thing that I want to start off by telling you about is Acorns, okay? So a lot of us have heard of Acorns. You hear about it as like the Roundup app or the app that every single time that you spend money, it takes a few quarters um from whatever purchase because it rounds it up by the dollar and then you'll become a millionaire later on okay and that's not what i'm gonna say at all and that is not even the way that i use the app actually okay so acorns if you don't know it's an app that invests your money into a very diversified portfolio okay so it invests it into real estate um it invests it into new stocks stocks that are trending um etfs all that kind of stuff okay and i like many of you wouldn't consider myself a super crazy investor. I don't know everything about the stock market and stuff like that. So using this app, I've been able to put money inside of it every single week and make money with it 95% of the time, I'll say. 95% of the time, I make money, okay? So I'm trying to teach you guys a way to make money and multiply your money um, in a couple ways, but safely. Okay, I'm not going to tell you to put a million dollars or a few thousand dollars into one stock that could go up or could go down. It, like I just said, it's very diversified, okay? So the way that I use it is every single week, I put a few hundred dollars into my account, okay? And you guys don't have to do it. You guys could put a dollar a week. You guys could put... You guys could only do the roundups, okay? So it works in many different ways. Actually, I, I know I'm kind of like going over the place, but let me just go through it, okay? So you can put money in the account by doing the roundups, okay? And that's what a lot of people know Acorns as, the roundup app, the app that takes the money and rounds up your purchases, okay? So that's one way of putting money into the account. And you can actually turn that option off because there's other options, okay? So you can also put money in whenever you feel like it, whenever you have like a big paycheck, or you just like look into your bank account and you're like, I'm not gonna use this for anything, but I want it to grow, then you can just do a one-time deposit. You can also do the roundups. And what you can also do, which I like to do, is every single week I put a few hundred dollars into the account, um, and that's money that I'm not gonna use that I wanna go towards saving, but I also want it to grow, okay? And so that's one way of making money. And for those of you that don't have a lot of money, just focus on putting like a quarter or so just just focus on and by a quarter i mean like just focus on the roundups you know what i mean if you don't have a crazy amount of money then this is a, a way of making you more money you know what i mean and if there's other things that you want to put your money into i totally understand that i'm not going to say you're wrong at all if you have like a business and you want to keep putting money into your business blah 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 be careful with that if you know what you're doing with that investment then do it some people dump a shitload of money into something that they don't even understand what they're doing and then 95 percent of businesses fail so they end up failing Okay, but once you really know what you're doing and you kind of figured out like, okay, this is a smart investment into my business. This is a smart investment into a stock or creating my own portfolio without um, an external source like um, Acorns, then, then by all means do so. But this is just for the people that want to make extra money. They don't want to put a lot of time into it and they want something safe. You know what I mean? And so when I'm creating my portfolio or whenever you go on the app, you can choose different levels. Okay, so you can be, um, you can be the safest option or you can be very aggressive, okay? I believe there's five different options, but I like to be moderate, okay? So I'm willing to lose money sometimes. I'm willing to gain money sometimes. And I, like I said, 95% of the times I gain money, okay? But for some of you that want to go with the most, the more aggressive approach, 
you got to expect that you're probably going to lose more money more often, but your gains are probably going to be a lot higher, you know? And you can also view on the graphs what it invested into depending on your choice of how aggressive you want to be, okay? So that's one way of making money. And I really suggest that even if you choose another method, that you still use that at least in one way or another. Um, you don't even put a crazy amount of money. But I put an okay amount of money. And I know this is going to change. I know there's going to be another app that's good. Um, I know that I'm probably going to gain more knowledge and maybe I'll be more of a day trader or invest into my own stocks and create my own portfolio. But this is just one way of doing it, okay? And the second way of making money or the way that I do it with, without putting any effort in at all is using Robinhood. Robinhood or TD Ameritrade. Um, the app for TD Ameritrade on mobile, uh, the one that I prefer is called Thinkorswim. T-H-I-N-K-O-R-S-W-I-M. Thinkorswim. And it's created by Ameritrade, um, but it's more of a mobile version, okay? And so there's nothing wrong with Robinhood, um, except for the fact that Robinhood is a lot more strict towards day trades. All right, so Robinhood and TD Ameritrade, which whatever version you want to use, um, they're, they're ways of investing, but they're almost like too easy. Like not even trying to exaggerate. You can literally have the app downloaded and literally have money invested into the stock market in less than a minute. Like dead serious. Like this technology is fucking crazy. All right. So if you're looking to do that, there's nothing wrong with it, but you just got to understand that there's probably, or there's definitely is more risk, but there's also more gain. Okay. So for Robinhood, their big thing is that there's no fees and like, Oh yeah, I forgot to say this about acorns for acorns. It's $1 a month. If that scares you, then honestly, you probably shouldn't be watching my videos. Okay. But Robinhood is an app where, like I said, you're able to invest on your own. Okay. So you can do whatever research you want. You can go on YouTube and learn um, what trends to look for. You can start studying the opens, the closes. Um, you can also learn all the vocabulary, which comes with learning about stocks. Okay. So they do have the tools. It's a bit harder to access. The reason why I prefer TD Ameritrade actually is because it has the tools. And it also seems more um, real time, okay? So th people say that the stock market on, um, on like Robinhood and stuff like that is, is 20 minutes behind the actual market, okay? I found and think that TD Ameritrade is a bit more ahead than it, okay? So I prefer that and also the tools and also I know a tiny bit about stocks, okay? So I, I sort of understand the tools. I sort of understand what to look for. I sort of understand like, I've sort of figured out like what I think is a good investment and want, what I'm willing to put into. And then once you figure that out and once you maybe you have an Acorn account, you have money in that and then you're looking to put more money into something else, you kind of want to decide like, do you want to day trade or do you want to do long-term investments and everything like that? So the rule with both of these apps is that you're not allowed to make more than three day trades in a five business day period. Okay, so every single week, that's considered a, a business week period or something like that. Um, and you're not allowed to make three day trades, okay? So if you're not familiar with what a day trade is, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you you buy a stock or a share and then you sell it the same day, okay? So you're not allowed to do that. Um, I, I feel that I've noticed that um, TD Ameritrade is a lot more lenient when it comes to that. Um, but Robinhood's definitely not. I actually got suspended for a bit because I day traded four times, big deal. But I'm sure that they have the reasons and I'm, I'm sure that there's a reason why you can't do that, okay? But um, once I got suspended, I actually moved over to TD Ameritrade and I did have a lot better experience there. One, because of the tools and two, because they seem to be a lot more lenient when it comes to day trades, okay? And sometimes I like to go in and out. I know that's not the smartest thing to do, but sometimes I, maybe I, I, I set a limit. Like maybe I say like, I remember when I started off, it, I was like, I'm only going to put $500 into this account. I'm going to force myself to grow it. If I can't grow it, I'm just not going to trade, okay? Because this is the money that I'm putting aside. Be responsible, okay? Investing into anything is a risk. And I want you guys to know that. I don't want you guys to think, like, there's no risk behind this. All I'm saying is that it's the safe... In my opinion, it's one of the safest ways to invest your money, okay? And that's why I'm giving it to you guys, okay? So have your Acorn account between moderate and conservative, I think it was, the safest way. I, I wouldn't go aggressive. I've heard stories about people doing that and losing a lot of money at the same time that I did not lose 
any money at all. I actually made money like the same day. But that's just because, like I said, their portfolio is very diverse and they put um, a higher percentage into um, certain things that they wouldn't in a moderate account when you go aggressive, okay? But when it comes to Robinhood or TD Ameritrade or actually creating your portfolio yourself, make sure you do your research, okay? Make sure you really go on. You don't even need to buy a course. You don't need to buy a course. You don't need to go to school for this. Just go on YouTube or just do research, okay? And what I really like about both is that they give you news on every single stock. So when Tesla had um, that presentation with Elon where they threw the, I forgot what it was, was it a rock or something like that? At the cyber truck and the window cracked. Like I remember literally right away, right when that happened, right before the stock dropped, there was a notification that it happened. And there was also right when you're on the feed, you can see that this just happened. And so it kind of makes you aware before the stock actually drops. So I love having the news there. I love having a platform that I could just be on my phone. Um, and obviously on this side of the world or this side of the US, um, the stock market opens at 6.30, it closes at 8. Um, obviously it's still going to be going up and down after, but I'm usually still at the gym at 6.30. So being able to do it on my phone and be there right when it opens up is very useful for me. Um, but yeah, um, this is, those are the two ways that I would suggest investing if you're not super familiar with the stock market if you don't really know what you're doing but you just have some money on the side and yeah that's pretty much all i got for today if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to message me on instagram at drape d-r-a-p-e or just leave a comment below but yeah if you've liked this video if you found it valuable make sure to leave a like and a comment make sure to subscribe and maybe turn on the notification bell because i'm going to be uploading every single week and I just want to blow you guys up with a bunch of really useful information that will change everything for you guys. Okay. So if you guys like this video, make sure to click the, the video that's going to show up right after this. And yeah, just keep watching. Just keep grabbing value from this because I'm not going to be one of those guys that charges a lot of money for a course. Um, I do have a program, but that's separate from this. And I promise you that if you guys stick around and you guys keep watching my channel, that things will change for you. All right. So thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.